The included software with EVGA's NEX 1500 is obviously unique. Uh, you don't see power supplies coming with software in any way, shape, or form, much less control software and, in this case, uh, very extensive monitoring software. Let's take a look first at the monitoring side of it. Uh, up top, you can see you've got a label with input voltage and you can actually drop it down to use drop down box to select input current, input power, 12 volt output voltage, 12 volt output current, 5 volt output voltage, 5 volt output current, 3.3 voltage output voltage, 3.3 output current, output power, temperature, fan speed, and efficiency. Uh, right now it comes just input voltage and input current right out of the box, but we could change that if we wanted to um, take a look at our efficiency and temperature the entire way along. As you see, uh, right now at idle, of course, efficiency is going to be down a bit, and temperature very low, 30.2 degrees. Uh, with any of these, you can click over on the side, expand, and you'll get a history, which you can bring back to when you booted the computer, of exactly what's been going on. Clicking down the bottom of that, of the history, will bring up alarm settings. Uh, you can set an alarm for any of the uh, monitored points to come up at your discretion, setting a high and low limit for any of the monitored points. Going back, we've got the history, we can bring that back in. You can also turn your monitor box into four windows, say if you want to do efficiency and temperature, and in input versus output power. Or if you wanted to monitor your 12 volt output voltage and 5 volt output voltage side by side, you can monitor everything at once. You can even bring it up to six screens, which enlarges the monitoring software somewhat and gives you a clear view. You can really get a little wild with uh, what you want to do. Input power versus output power, perhaps. But basically the point being, whatever it is you want to monitor, you've got it there. You've got a nice history chart, as well as alarms which you can set a high and low limit on anything that is monitored by the software. Now the interesting part up here, uh, very simple but very effective. Uh, selectable normal or overclock. Obviously I'm not going to be overclocking it uh, because you do need to be plugged into 230 volts to do that. So we're going to leave that at normal. Single or multiple rail. If I want to go to single rail, I simply click on single, apply, and on the fly it switches over to single rail. Uh, if I want to go back to multiple rail, same thing, on the fly. You don't need to shut down, don't need to restart, it's that simple. Um, if you are using the dip switches, this is just going to be grayed out. It will not be available. But with the dip switches set at the factory default positions, this will light up and you will be able to select your normal and overclocked as well as your single or multiple rail right through the user interface of the Supernova software.